Hello, Janae here. How's everybody doing? Today, I'd like to share my Cantina Salsa recipe. This is a base recipe. And I make my Cantina uh, Salsa recipe a little bit different. I use uh, fire roasted tomatoes. I use either the canned uh, and, or the fresh. You can fire roast them yourself since it is summertime and you're out at the grill. And uh, it's a very potent, flavorful salsa, cantina style. You'll see it's finely ground. And well, let's jump into the recipe and give it a try. In a large bowl, put washed cilantro with the stems cut, one large jalapeno, as you can see, and a half a jalapeno oh, with seeds. And I set that in a bowl. Then set aside a can of the Rotel tomatoes with mild or hot peppers. Wash five uh, green onions cut into two inch pieces and a 14 ounce can of fire roasted tomatoes, uh, either diced or crushed. I use the uh, crushed, but you use what you want. And yes, you can fire roast them yourselves. Then set aside a uh, a good size, large red onion, and you're going to chop that roughly with some sassoon uh, spice and tahini spice. Throw everything into your high speed blender, starting with your tomatoes, then of course your green onions, your onion, your cilantro, and your seasonings on top. And then you are going to blend that on high speed. Now, it, it kind of depends on whether or not you want the salsa a little chunky. I want cantina style, so I don't want it chunky at all. And I do put it in that order. I'm gonna put place it, I'd said on high, but on medium speed, and I'm gonna start blending. And oh my goodness, this is probably one of the best cantina style salsas, a base for a cantina style, style salsa that I've ever made. And you're gonna notice that the cilantro may get caught around the top. Make sure you take the, stop the blender, take the lid off and pull it loose and then put the blender lid back on and keep blending it and you see every little bit of everything and you're going to blend for about 35 30 to 45 seconds longer if you like i added um a teaspoon of sea salt because it wasn't salty enough but you are going to salt to taste and uh oh my goodness then put the lid back on and blend it again. Now, when you're using these high powered blenders, please be careful and follow the blender instructions. I'm adding, uh, blending for about five to 10 seconds, the salt, just incorporate it. And then again, I'm going to taste it. And if I need more salt, great. If I don't, that's fine. And this is it. This is the Cantina style base and it is delicious with whatever corn chips you like and some wedges of lime everyone please have fun with this when i say it is a base that means you can add extra lemons or jalapenos thank you so much for watching if you've got questions let me know and the recipe is below this video have a great day. See you soon.